All right, so this is um the the um the reverse week, which is appropriate for my tongue-tied sound just now. Um, so we all had to make a reverse beat. So, um, I had fun. I had fun. So I'm just gonna jump in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and play the beat for you guys. this beat i enjoy myself because um i've always wanted to sample beyonce but i've never wanted to sample beyonce and so i was able to do that with it being obvious who i'm sampling however queen right it's yeah it's right there and so the song halo has this part where she just goes in like towards the mid end like towards like the third three quarters of the way through the song it's like this real dope riff. And I grabbed the acapella of the song and I'm like, let me see what I can do with this thing, man. Because I want something. I don't want to do any instruments backwards because I know that's expected of me to do. And I didn't want to do a sample backwards because that's expected as well. So I grabbed the vocals and I'm like, okay, but how can I do, do it and do it my way? So I grabbed the, the vocal sample and I'm just like, all right, fine, I'm going to do this. So I grabbed this piece right here. I'm going to unloop it first and then I'll just play it. Play it forward. Or... So that's pretty much where she goes in with that part. But so I flipped it backwards. It just sounded so great. Didn't really need much to it, but I'm just like, let me add my beat around this. So I took that, put it in Nectar 3, and I put all my additional unison voices and I put a time variation on them. So it sounds like multiple voices doing the one thing she's doing. So if I was to turn that off, it would sound like this. with those other voices on it sounds like this so each one is doing kind of the same thing but they have a whole um 
like a delay, almost like a choir going on. And then I took it down and I pitched it down full octave so I can get a lower one to play throughout the beat. But I didn't add anything, any uh, reverb or any um, uh, um, nectar three to it. So I just did this one. So that was my that was pretty much my sample part. So for the drums, I wanted to keep it simple, a little boom back, but I wanted to keep it kind of bare. I was gonna stack my drums, pitch shift my snare, but I was decided against it because I wanted it to sound very 2000, 2002 ish, very Stan like. Um, and so I wanted to keep it simple. I threw in this little guitar. This one strum it. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So I did the same thing with the piano. Just kind of took that same pa same piece. And um seems happening to me. Yo, son, do you see this? You see what's happening? All right. Grab my motor bass, which is my 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 that's my guy, into my motor bass, and I said, "What can I do to make this sound as full as I wanted to, but still impress Corey with the motor bass?" So I grabbed my um, violin bass, and I went through the electronics. I turned the bass all the way up, left the mid up, left the treble up halfway, and went to the amp though, and I turned up the amp, and I made sure the frequency was high high enough. And the depth and the resonance were where it needed to be. And then I also went to the string type and put six strings instead of four. And then made the strings old so they had like a broken in kind of feel to them. But they weren't, you know, out of tune. And so I went with that to just kind of give that... And I believe that that is all. And just this little accent with the, just the hat little, some hats in there. And that is the beat. And that is the uh, beat. 